okay now so to the real deal okay so um if you want to if you want this to be very simple for you i made a video on how to pick the right skin shadows and how to use them like how to use the brushes how to set the brushes and i'll link that also in the youtube card over there so you can go and check that one out before you come to this one but then either way if you want to go strictly according to how i'm going to do this one you are welcome stay tuned okay so we have this basically on top of the skin and look, what we're going to do after painting the skin is we're going to create a clip masking that is everything we're going to paint over here it's going to be right inside of the shape that is that is the, that has the layer on top of it okay so what i do is i pick my brush tool and then i'm using this huge i mean this this heavy hard round brush i'm not using any costume brush i'm using just this one so i set my hardness to zero percent and then my flow is going to be around 20 to 30 percent it depends on where i'm painting and how deep i want my color now my opacity also depends on where i'm painting and how deep i want my color so that also ranges from 15 to 20 percent so remember this hardness zero percent opacity 15 to 20 percent and then the flow ranges from 20 percent above depending on how i want my color okay so let's quickly go back to a reference picture i'll be referencing a lot because i don't want to go offline like i don't want to go off way right so i'll be referencing what other people will do is that they will have their main picture over somewhere but i love to keep it this way because it keeps me on track right good so quickly this is my main this is the body the main body color this is the first one so if you pick this one it is going to be a bit darker than this one so if you compare the two this one is a bit darker than that one and that is the first one i'll be using for my reference okay so if you turn on your reference picture you can see that there are some places that are dark areas so we're going to paint all that area so you increase and decrease your brush when needed or when you actually want it that way okay so let's quickly start and then we reference number one from here and when we're going to paint this area so you just have to be painting like that i'll be fast forwarding a lot over here i just give you the concept on how to do this and then i fast forward just to not keep this video that long okay so i'll increase my flow just like i was saying depending on how i want it i might increase my flow so you just have to paint and then you reference where you need to paint more a little more where you need to keep it a little dark like that okay so that is exactly what i'm doing right over here so that is it okay so i think right over here now one of the most important thing that you have to take note of is when you're painting the sh the nose so you remember we did something for the nose over here now we're going to paint to suit the nose over here right and then that one is also going to be done on the shadows because it is going to be basically like a shadow so what i do is i will decrease my brush size over here and then with still this color or basically we can decide to go a little bit down like that i'll increase my opacity to 20 percent over there and then i open up my brush and start to brush off this area now another tip if you are brushing off or if you are painting the eye and the nose like this you can go and use the smudge tool also the, the smudge brush it is also a bit way to keep you on track and keep you going way faster so that is it exactly like i'm doing so i just create the shape the lines for myself and then i start painting off like that so that is how i go by my paintings okay so i'll turn off this area 
and try to see if I'll get some cool paintings over here right now take note of this the area over here that is this small line over here I actually do paint it up if you are doing the sketching the whole sketching thing you can sketch this area but then I prefer to paint it up because it makes it look more smooth for me okay so I'm going to draw the sketch over here like that I'm actually using a mouse so don't worry if I go off way like that <laughs> well that is it so you see the line is a bit shaky if I were using a tablet I think it would have been much better okay so let's try to get this shade up so we try to get this done let me fast forward this area basically we're just trying to increase the hardness of this okay so now you see i've got that thing over here like the line over here don't mind the shaky thing over there it, it's pretty cool we're going to fix that very soon so at this point i'm still going to paint some more i'm really thinking of fast forwarding this whole area because i want to make this video very short but i believe you get a concept if you've gotten the concept it is cool if you can skip this area and then you go to the next one. So like I was saying, um, I think we are building up something over here. Uh, so like I was saying, when I, when I, when we started painting it, I told you that we're going to create a clip masking so that everything we are doing right over here will be straight inside the shape over there. So we're going to create a clip masking so that all this area that has gone wayward or stuff like that, it is going to be right inside of here. Okay, so we're going to select the shadow and then we're going to create a clip masking or clipping mask right so that is it so basically it it isn't going to be more than where we've not or where we don't want it to be okay so now let's focus a little bit on the down here because that is one of the most important place to paint i think the the face is a bit um uh, more more or less like they applied some kind of makeup i don't know but then the 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 neck over there looks more african and real so i'm going to paint that area okay so over there we're going to still use the same brush and then we're going to start off painting like that All right so you just have to be painting basically like that but i'm going to give you some couple of tips that will help you over here and then I open my brush to paint off like this okay all right so after doing this I'm going to select the next um, the next color over here and then I'm going to decrease my my flow and opacity because I don't want it to be that dark because you can see from the reference picture that this area is much more darker right so I'm going to decrease my brush and start to paint off this area also. So I'm going to paint off this area like that because it is more dark. That is why I chose that particular color, right? So I'm going to paint off this area like that. I think 
um, this looks more good okay so about this area what do we do about there what i'm going to do is i'm going to decrease my my brush size and then i'm going to start off from here basically let me just reduce this small and then i'm going to draw the outline i'll call this outline because it is going to serve us the first or the initial thing to getting this done okay so when we turn this off we have the the outline because that is why i call it outline because that is the first thing so afterwards you can increase your brush size or your your flow level and then you start to paint it way more darker right so let me go back and then you paint here much more darker so that's it and try to do some more black painting i think i'm going to fast forward this area and catch you soon okay so about the rest of the things um you're going to decrease a brush size and paint of this area also so that is it so you can see the difference over here and then you do the same thing for this area and then you can see the difference for that one also and then when you come to spots like this you can see that one also is a bit darker so we're just separating the more darker areas from that of the less darker areas so i'll do just a slight painting over there and then you can see the difference old over there so i'll do the same thing for here and i have a difference over there so you just basically be doing that small small little 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 by little till you get the actual painting that you want so the whole of this place is a little more darker so we go a little more darker over there let me try some british accent a little more whoa okay so that's it um i think we're getting along okay so the neck of over here also has some more dark areas so we're going to increase the brush and get this area much more darker right so like that okay And then I'm going to make this area, I think this area has some more darkness like that. Okay. So it's just a matter of you determining where, which part of the body has more darkness and you setting up your brush to fit that area. Okay. So this area is more dark. Let's get it more dark the final i mean the final video or the final picture of this one is going to be way more um good looking than this because this is a tutorial and you know i can't waste all the time trying to explain to you how to get this done but then at least you have the basics and then you know what to do next okay so if you turn on the main picture and then this is what we are having right now so another thing that we do after this and we're going to pick this color of course that is the shiny areas over there so if you come over here this one i don't want it a large or that huge so i'm going to decrease my font sorry my my brush size and then start to get this area more whitish because that is how it looks like okay so get this area more whitish a bit and then I get over to this point also then more whitish so basically we just doing some couple of tweaks to what we just painted and it will make it makes it look a little more natural right so we do that one also for the neck over here and this place also and that place 